Hi, everyone. Very excited to be here. I'm Joe. I'm one of the founders of uh, Spark, and we prepare students and teachers for tomorrow's classroom. STEM education is in crisis. There's a huge demand for STEM-related skills, but it's difficult for students to learn, and they find it that it's very boring, it's very hard. And teachers, on the other hand, also find that it's very difficult to teach, because some of these concepts can be too small, too big, too complex, or too abstract. So we do know that curiosity drives learning. We know that when children are curious, they have the energy and the passion to do a lot of things. But at the same time, how are we enabling this curiosity to take place in the classroom? What are the activities that they have? How can we drive curiosity? How do we drive success? Because I know that success drives learning. And how do I know this? Because I've been a classroom teacher for more than five years. This is one of my classes. Uh, you can see the guy sleeping in front, right? Uh, so it's a very common scenario, but I've also seen many cases where success can take these boring faces and transform them into this. Because when they get the eureka moment, it just sparks them into life. So how can we drive success? Why, why don't we tap into what the students are really, really good at? We know they're good at technology. We know they're very good at integrating technology into every aspect of their life. Why not use that? So we have STEM education, we have curiosity, we have success, and we have technology. How would all this look like in the classroom? Meet Akira. Meet Akira. Uh, he's a biology teacher, and he's very, very passionate about what he does. He is so passionate, in fact, that he comes home every day looking like this. But there's more work to be done. He needs to prepare for his lessons, right? He needs to prepare for the next lesson, photosynthesis. And this is what he typically uses to prepare for photosynthesis. Lesson plans, diagrams, way too much information. But with Spark, this is what he does. He logs into the app. He looks for lesson plans that lots of biology teachers have uploaded. He downloads all these resources. And then this is where the magic happens. He customizes this with augmented reality, voice, and tangible interactions so that his students can have a very enriching, interactive experience in the classroom. And once he's happy with all this, what he's done, he prepares the Spark worksheet. He prints out a Spark worksheet. And it will look something like this. So there's tangibles, and there's also a worksheet full of white space. And we have Rory, who's one of his students. So during the next day in, in, in biology class, uh, he pulls out his app, and he enters in Akira's lesson code. And then after that, together with uh, his set of tangibles and the worksheet that Akira has given him, he proceeds to embark on a multi-sensory, hands-on experience with his classmates, encouraging collaboration. This is how it looks like as we prototype this in the classroom uh, with Akira. So you, hear, you see some students using a headset, and some students using a handheld version. And this is what the student sees. So in this case of photosynthesis, we have a student who's holding on to the sun tangible, and he's moving the sun around to create photosynthesis, to cause the action of photosynthesis to happen. So now Akira, all, while all this is happening, Akira has lots and lots of feedback as a teacher. He's able to see what the students are doing, to see them move the tangibles around without looking at their screens. He's able to listen in to what they're saying, not just with each other, but also with the voice interaction with the phone, with the app. So what you've seen are hands-on, multi-sensory activities that provide a constant and timely manner of feedback to both teachers and students and the resources to help them to succeed. This is consistent with all the interviews that we've done, with learners, with educators, with experts in this area. We've taken all this feedback, and we're very, very excited to announce that we are developing a Spark, which consists of the apps that you've seen, the tangibles, as well as creation tools, so that everyone can get access to these interactive and very powerful learning experiences. And we want to get this out to as many people as possible to experience the joy of learning. So we have a home kit for parents. We also have school kits for educators. How much would you spend if you know that the, your, 
children's lives are at stake, the future of your children are at stake. This is the estimated spending. What do you think? We are in the inter intersection of augmented reality, tangibles, voice, STEM learning, as well as educational toys, and we are very well positioned. Now, moving forward, we know that this is not going to be easy. We need to build a community of people who understand what augmented reality, voice, and tangibles can offer in the classroom. So we are, this is our timeline, and we are building a community to drive this. And we are asking to develop our capabilities in this area. We are Joe and Yang, and we are experts in educational technology, as well as community building. So drop by later, come and find us. We have a demo, try our demo, and let us spark let us spark your curiosity on the future of learning. Thank you.